I've always been into fashion growing up, dressing a certain way, living a certain lifestyle, listening to hip hop. I grew up in the late 80s when LA gangs were at a high and um, we were crooks. We robbed, we sold drugs, but you know, we always knew that eventually there was gonna be an out. Thank God you know, we were able to turn a negative into a positive. Crooks and Castles is a lifestyle brand. The crooks kind of symbolize starting at the bottom and working your way up to eventually having your castle. We started about 13 years ago. We have a flagship store on Fairfax. We wanted to go with something a little more out of the box compared to the doors. Pretty much a mid-century feel is uh, what we went for. When you come in, it's not just all this shop and leave. You can actually just shop and kick it. One of the most popular items for crooks is the cocaine and caviar tea. What makes it unique to us is that we put 85, which resembles our squad's number, the eight resembling a B, and the five resembling an S for bomb squad. Bomb Squad is my crew. We have all have a history of growing up together. Whenever we're together, we move like a unit. And from that, it was just our crew apparel. You know, we just wanted to stand out and not have something that everyone had. That's what fashion was really to me, like the hard to find stuff. I'd see your sweater, your jacket, or your shoes and be like, yo, where'd you get those? I didn't see those. Crooks and Castles is definitely a family business. A lot of people think that, you know, we're big and we're like super corporate. We're not. I also like collecting figures. I'm a big Star Wars nerd. I love Boba Fett. I'm a bit crazy that way. <laughs> it's nothing like a car. Right? I have an 88 911 Porsche. I have a 92 Mercedes-Benz 300TE wagon. A 2009 G55. 2013 458 Italia Ferrari. And those cars bring certain sparks of joy. You know, there's inspiration everywhere. And it's just all how you take it and interpret it in your own way. We can create something from just a thought. Or I can see something in a magazine or hear a song and it'll inspire me to create some kind of pattern. When someone rocks a piece of Crooks and Castles, they're owning a piece of our movement. If they were a crook or they knew what it was to have nothing and then work their way up to actually having something and then buying one of our pieces with that hard-earned money. When I see people wearing it on the street, you know, it's the most humbling feeling for me.